This is probably a good place to start. This is a project we're about to take on. It's uh, it. Uh, I've got a big old house, and there are rooms in it that have not been addressed. This is one of them. Uh, it's a great room. It's, check out this round ceiling right here. But there are some flaws in it. Uh, you can see right there. There's some uh, uh, broken. Uh, plaster. You know, it looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll just leave that there. It looks like a ghost house or something. Um, and lots of holes in the wall and the crack plaster is pretty well cracked up. And uh, all along here, I think whoever had this before had dark had dark boards hanging in the walls. Uh, the plaster is coming loose in a lot of places, but it hasn't come down. And I'd like for it not to. Uh, I've got places in this old house where the plaster has come down. But what I'm going to try to do, uh, a couple of things. First, I'm going to try to shoot some screws in it, but I don't have any high hopes that that's going to work because plaster is so brittle, sometimes it just breaks apart. But the other thing I thought I'd do is just get some more plaster and come up here and try to tie it all together so that it's not quite so likely to come apart. Uh, you can see here the windows are just about shot. Uh, new windows are very high on the list of things that need to be done. Uh, we do have some interesting closets. This old house has walls that are made out of standing up boards. These are old hand-hewn boards. It's probably been in this house since it was built in 1842. But uh, my, my assistant over there hiding behind the door uh, has been pulling, uh, pulling down old wallpaper off the walls to kind of get us started. So anyway, that's the project. I just wanted to shoot some video of it before we start. That way we'd have something to come back and look at later on when we get a little bit of work done. Yeah, we should get pictures of this wonderful door. This actually is a work of art because not every day you find doors with the paint actually chipping, peeling off with <laughs> such drama. I mean, I think that's, that's really, you know, something special right there. <laughs> Alright, let's shoot some more video. I was uh, earlier showing you the cracks and what I've been doing is mm -hmm. taking uh, sheet metal screws, screwing them up in there very gently so they don't fall away through and just pulling these cracks up and then painting over them. Uh, the worst part was over there and you can see I have uh, shot sheet metal screws into them and then uh, taking some putty. Actually, I'm just using regular old caulk, putting it on there and smoothing it out. It doesn't look too bad once we get that done up. Uh, you throw some paint on this, and that'd be a big improvement. Here's a spot over here that you still see the cracks and stuff. But we'll just work our way all around the room, stopping up all the holes, fixing up all the cracks, and I think she'll be good. Okay, here we are with about a tube and a half of caulking and a bunch of screws used up. I think that over there looks pretty good. Once we get some paint on that, I don't even think it'll show up. Um, I'll show you in the closet here. Trish is in there peeling wallpaper. What a great job. Woohoo! I'm so glad you're doing that. <laughs>